What's going on everybody? This is Mikey with Ethos Herb Company and today I wanted to show you a tutorial on how to buy Bitcoin with Cash App. Now Cash App is a financial tool. It's an application that you can download from Play Store um, or if you have you know an Apple phone then you can use the I believe the App Store is what it's called um, and basically you would just search for Cash App right you would download the app and once that's downloaded then you can open it uh, this is what the home screen looks like in cash app and you'll notice at the top of the screen I have forty seven dollars on cash app um, that was from one of uh, one of my customers paying me on cash app um, but I'm trying to move away from actually accepting payments on cash app via US dollar um, and I want to be uh, you know influencing people and incentivizing people to purchase Bitcoin on Cash App and then send me the Bitcoin instead of the US dollar, if that makes sense. Hopefully that does. Um, because that's what you're, you're technically doing. You're buying Bitcoin with your US dollar from your bank account, right? Your debit card, uh, vice versa. So the top left corner is going to be the profile. Um, and you'll notice here that under my bank account tab, I have my debit card linked and my bank account linked to Cash App. So you have to, to verify that information first before you can move forward with actually sending and receiving regular payments and also purchasing Bitcoin and sending Bitcoin. Um, so you'll notice that there's a, there's a cash tab, which is how much cash you have on the actual application. And then there is the Bitcoin option, which is where I wanted to show you guys uh, how to buy it. So once you, like I said, once you have your, your uh, debit card and your uh, bank account linked to the application, uh, then you'll be able to buy Bitcoin. So I can purchase, uh, we'll, we'll purchase, well it jumps between 25 and 50. So we'll purchase $25 worth of Bitcoin. And you guys might not be able to see a lot of the activity on the Bitcoin screen because of privacy issues, and they block it out for some reason. Um, but it says to confirm your purchase of 0 .004 BTC um, at an exchange rate of $5,615 per BTC. So if I had $5,615, I could purchase one whole entire Bitcoin. But the thing about Bitcoin is that it's divisible up to eight decimal places. So for $25 USD worth of Bitcoin, you get 0 0.004 Bitcoin. Um, there is a little bit of a learning curve with like, you know, recognizing the decimal places and things like that. Uh, but this application makes it pretty simple for you to um, understand that value. So yeah, like I said, $25 worth, we're going to confirm that purchase. I'm going to Put in my pin to verify that and it looks like I've purchased 0 0.004 BTC all done um, and you'll notice that there is a small fee involved uh, when purchasing the Bitcoin um, I think that was like 33 cents that uh, you know it gave it that 33 cent cushion because of the fluctuation of Bitcoin um, or maybe it is the fee I'm not hundred percent sure but um, it is a small you know percentage that you uh, get taken out of the balance, which, you know, really isn't that big of a deal. But um, I did get an email that said that I purchased Bitcoin. So you'll get an email um, that verifies that. And then now that I have my Bitcoin, right, and we're still in the Bitcoin tab, right? So Bitcoin, and then at the very bottom, we can hit withdraw Bitcoin. So I'm going to want to withdraw all of my Bitcoin, so we will move the toggle all the way to the right. If I wanted to do half the Bitcoin, we'll do halfway or a quarter, we could do that. But for this case, we are going to withdraw all of the Bitcoin. This is for QR codes, right? So if I had a QR code, I could scan it, right? But since we don't have the QR code and we have the actual Bitcoin wallet address, we want to enter it manually. So we'll hit the bottom. And this is where you would paste 
my Bitcoin address. And I can show you that I have my wallet. And the wallet that I'm using is called Engine, right? It's the Engine wallet. And this supports multiple cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin. So you'll notice here that I have, uh, you know, basic attention token, engine token, Ethereum, Litecoin. Um, but for this instance, we're doing Bitcoin. So we'll click on Bitcoin and then we will hit receive funds. Mind you, you're not doing this exact step. The only thing that you're doing is going to be copying my address which I will leave in the link in the description, my Bitcoin address. And then we will go back to the Cash App and enter that Bitcoin address. We'll hit Next. It'll confirm the Bitcoin address and we'll paste it again. Please confirm your withdrawal of 0 0.004 BTC to this wallet and I'll hit Confirm. You initiated a withdrawal of 0 0.004 BTC. All done. Now we can exit out. And you'll notice that on the top right corner, we can see the activity that's going on. So just now, the completed activity, it says Bitcoin withdrawal. This one right here. 0 0.004 today at 7.35 a.m. And it's been initiated. So we will go back over to the engine wallet. And we will refresh the page to see if that Bitcoin has shown up yet. So it does take um, anywhere between uh, five minutes and upwards of an hour for the blockchain to actually uh, verify the transaction on the blockchain. Um, this wallet is fairly quick. So, it shouldn't take too long. So, we're just going to wait on that. So, I just received an email uh, from Cash App that uh, basically says that your withdrawal of 0 .004 BTC is now confirmed on the blockchain. So, that did take, uh, let's see, so 732 is when I purchased the Bitcoin. Uh, 42, 3, 4, 5. So about 14 minutes it took for the uh, transaction to actually broadcast on the blockchain. Um, we can go back to my engine wallet. And we'll refresh it and see if we have that cash on there. And there you go. $24.79 in the US dollar value, but in BTC it's 0, .00. Four four five, um, and that's basically how you transfer transfer Bitcoin from the Cash App to my Bitcoin address. So you're not going to have to worry about the whole engine process. Like, uh, you know, you're not going to need to download the engine wallet or anything like that, unless of course you want to store your Bitcoin um, away from the actual Cash App. So. Uh, I'll probably make a video if you guys want to learn more about how to set up your wallet and things like that um, and secure your wallet and make sure that you don't lose your funds. Um, there's a process that goes into that. You basically have to save what they call a private key. and um, But that's getting a little bit too off track. I just wanted to show you guys basically how to uh, purchase on Cash App and then transfer it to the Bitcoin address, which, like I said, I'll leave the link in the description below. Um, you guys will be able to send Bitcoin to that address. Um, and if Cash App doesn't work for you, like if you're not able to link your bank account or your debit card to Cash App, um, there's always the option of Coinbase as well. And Coinbase is the same idea, you know, under settings, we'll go to the linked accounts and you'll notice that I have my, my, my PayPal linked, which is actually no good anymore, so... Um, I, don't, I don't use that payment method, but I have my service credit union, uh, which is my bank account linked, and then I also have my debit card linked as well. So once you have all that information linked, 
then you'll be able to purchase a variety of different cryptocurrencies, not just Bitcoin. You'll be able to uh, purchase all these. And I think right now they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 different options for you to actually purchase uh, cryptocurrency. So it's not just Bitcoin. They have a wide variety of different ones. And I will honestly accept any type of cryptocurrency. Any cryptocurrency that's on this page and even others too, I can accept. If you're a Bitcoin veteran or a cryptocurrency veteran and you like to use other other uh, currencies, uh, feel free to message me and we can accept any crypto that you guys have. So I appreciate you guys working with me and uh, you know, uh, I'm glad that I can teach you a new way of transferring value because in my honest opinion, and the opinion of others, this is the future of, of store of value and the transfer of value as well. Um, I like to say that Bitcoin uh, will do for transactions what the internet did for information. It will break the monopoly on transactions and banking and store of value. So um, anyways, guys, that's all I got for today. Uh, and I hope everybody takes care and has a great week. Um, I'll talk to you guys soon.